Well, it's been 25 minutes now. Uh, the E101 is still going very, very well. It carries on churning out the power. You can slow him up a little bit, so this stop clock has a tendency to fall back into position again. It takes a while for it to wind down. There it is running a little bit slower. The stop clock slides down gradually then. And you can hear it speeding up. Right, it gets stuck into its power band then. Obviously it gets a lot of its low down power from that huge heavy flywheel. Smooths out the motion, stores off a lot of energy and momentum, and between power strokes keeps this thing chugging over. cream of toy steamers will enjoy watching this. It really is quite mesmerising. I've just made some toast bottles for watching this going around. Had a cup of coffee, gone to the loo, come back again. Still chugging away happily. Certainly a totally different to uh, maybe a Walesco unit um, where you have those lovely little characters with all sorts of tools sharpeners and things, much more higher speed. This is a, a good old, solidly engineered British workshop, chundering over and uh, solidly, if not speedily, delivering the goods. I might think of putting a much larger flywheel on here so the E101 can run even faster. The only problem with that is this tends to run very, very slow then. But there's lots of options, as I say, for experimenting with gearing and um, the mechanical advantage and ratios. These have got extra two lots of bolts on them. On here, transfer the drive just in case anything slips. This is only a plastic set of concrete gears. I have got some brass ones, but they're not transferring. There isn't a great deal of weight for them to have to turn here, so um, I can get away with it on those. Obviously, if it was far too much weight on this, then I'd really need something like these here, because obviously these could slide and uh, chatter on top of each other and um, strip the teeth off. But the, the brass ones are a little bit harder to get hold of quite expensive too if you actually buy them from some of the mechanical dealers but they're worth it in the long run so if you want the cream of workshops there's only one place to visit to get the rest just uh, log on to free steam I can promise you for myself and also from the other members you'll get endless amounts of quality pictures and video If you're watching this on YouTube, the web address is www.freesteammammal, all one word, dot myfreeforum dot org. If you're into your choice steam, it'll be the best decision you ever made. Lots of promise.